We're pretty far into our production. We're actually into the home stretch now. So what we have to start doing is we have to get our first AD to come in and create the shooting schedule. Second sticks. Then Marvin has to gear up completely. We have to get production insurance so that he can get the gear that he needs. I gotta go get wardrobe and props, building call sheets, and we have to finalize our crew. This is all big steps that we're gonna be making here, big chunks out of our pre-production. So, uh, you know, in preparation, I went out this weekend and I got the costumes. Here's what the clinic patients are gonna be wearing. Sweatshirts, essentially, without a hood. And then, you know, matching sweatpants to go with them. And then uh, there's a scene where uh, Billy buys a straight jacket from Amazon. So we went to a Halloween costume place and got a straight jacket. And then uh, he also, in the same scene, um, wears a fake beard that gets ripped off by Dr. Bell. Ridiculous, it looks like he's been in a coma, which is perfect. I feel really great, actually, because we've organized our production correctly, and we have a system of being able to check what we have taken care of and what still needs to be taken care of. You got that jacket and all that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, straight jacket, fake beard, all of the costumes are done. Mm -hmm. The things that are worrying me right now are honestly the things I can't control. I, it's 100% chance that it's gonna rain on Saturday. Huh. Okay. So, um, it's a 90% chance it says here. Okay. A big portion is outside and it's supposed to just pour. What if someone cancels? This meeting is basically for any sort of outstanding concerns. Uh, we had a meeting about the, the rain, which I didn't know you approached the topic of. Hi, I'm Carrie Lane, and I'm the AD on Mental Mistakes. I'm very excited to work with Carrie. Every conversation we've had, she's been very reasonable. She's been very straightforward and pragmatic, which I can appreciate. A first AD works on scheduling, and call sheets are the big things. Reset, so rolling. We're back. It's done. All right, moving on. In a nutshell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A shooting schedule is probably one of the most valuable items you'll have. It's great for other departments to be aware of what's coming up next. So it's a great way to keep track of everything that you want to do, plan to do, and already done. On your shooting schedule, you have a bunch of different strips, which is the little rectangular box with all the details. In grouping scenes together, location is your first concern because if your actor is not available till later, you can get your other shots at that location. and then that way you can move them around per what your individual needs are. Right now, as it stands, the shooting schedule has the art room as the first thing. So should we actually do the art room further down so that way they can be dressing it? Let's get our masters first yes. to get the coverage. To make this to the, to the day and then get cool shots later. You know it's gonna rain later in the day, maybe try to get the outdoor stuff done first. If it's raining harder, let's move the car scene first. Right, because yeah. Because then we can get mm -hmm. the art room set and then shuffle Correct. it. Correct. So now we're at this place where we need to get the gear, but we also need to get production insurance. So let's talk insurance. As I said before, it's one of those unavoidable things in your budget that you're definitely going to need. 
There are three specific type of insurances that you want to be aware of. First is your general liability. It covers all manners of accidents, thefts. For instance, you have a C-stand that scrapes against a wall. Well, that's going to be an actual cost for someone to actually fix and something that your general liability insurance should cover. So the insurance you have right now is five hundred dollars covers a one million liability. Liability and obviously damages. Yes. Okay. Definitely plan on spending at least 10% of your budget on insurance. If your budget is five thousand, square away five hundred dollars just for general liability insurance. Yeah. All right. Done. Now, this is a question for you guys professionally. Do we need to work on the comp? The second type of insurance you want to be concerned with is your workman's compensation insurance. Many states mandate that you have this if you're going to employ anybody. But here's a cost-saving tip. If you have less than 10 to 15 employees, then you really sometimes can employ independent contractors and wing it and save yourself just a little bit of money. Use your best judgment here. You know, that's the only thing. Is it worth the risk? Did you have it? I never had it. So we decided because we only had five actors on set and a crew of less than 10, we'd forego the workman's comp and then definitely concentrate on the general liability as well as the equipment insurance. On a side note, errors and omissions insurance is another type of insurance you might hear pop up in conversations regarding film production. This is something that's suited for copyright infringement or plagiarism claims, something that independent filmmakers don't really need to be concerned about unless they intend to sell their film later. The development cost is legal copyright WGA. You can, pay for it. you can pay for it later. So the next insurance you want to concern yourself with is rented equipment or inland marine insurance. Rented equipment insurance covers any equipment from any rental houses and even peer-to-peer -peer companies. And it covers any loss, theft, or damage. Most rental house won't even talk to you without a policy already in order. The easiest way to secure insurance for your production is through a broker. Film Emporium is a great one. Athos is excellent. So it is paramount importance that you have that rented equipment insurance before you go and pick up your equipment. So the thing is you have to send in the insurance for them like a week in advance so they can approve the insurance and then you can rent. Marvin decided to ask me if we'd had insurance already and, well, I can't really get insurance if I don't know what I'm insuring. Things got a little heated in the, <laughs> in the moment in our discussion. Marvin, he wanted a specific camera budget. We weren't sure how much that was gonna be because we didn't know how much money we'd have after spending our money on our production insurance. So you can see how we, you couldn't do one without the other, but then you couldn't do one without the other. And it was becoming this whole whirlwind situation. So I just wanna make sure that the insurance we're getting, that it meets the share group requirements, right? So you don't know what you're getting from share group yet, but we need to insure them for what? I'd already asked for a gear list from our crew, our DP, and well, there wasn't one yet and I was being asked for insurance. You know, I, I can't do anything until they do their job and then I can do mine and make it easier. You have gotta have that gear list before you can get insurance. Yeah, so we need to get the insurance locked in as soon as possible because they need to approve it before they can even approve the rental request. Again. Okay. In order for me to actually get the insurance, mm -hmm. they want to know what they're insuring and how much it's worth. Right. We need to have this conversation to know how much money I have. So that's what we need. Well, that's what he needs to, to do share grid. I'm feeling some hostility here already. You know, if you guys don't need me here, you're welcome to do it yourself. Dude, exactly you are so Am I being silly. You're being here? ridiculous. Well, I mean, I don't know. What are we doing? We're sitting here talking to you. We're not being hostile. <laughs> Just said, okay, if that's on yeah, the You don't have to worry about insurance, it'll be there for you, okay? okay. I'm just saying. Let's face it, everyone wants something to happen to make sure it's being done, so I don't fault anyone and I want to try to, in the future to handle things as diplomatically as possible. But when you're asking me for insurance, when you don't even have a gear list, it does raise my hackles just a little bit. All right, let's go through your apartment then, since you're the boss here. Let's say you need a script, a gaffer, a camera assistant. Or how about this, we just give you that budget and you have at it. $900? Mm -hmm. okay. okay, I'm taking care of it. Done. All right. 
it's a very frustrating place to be in, but we've got a deadline and we have to move forward. So now it's time to make our call sheets. A call sheet is a document that you send out to your cast and crew that lets them know important information for that day of filming. And they have to be formatted a certain way, otherwise they'll confuse everyone who gets them. We happen to have a call sheet template. If you wanna check that out, you can check the link in the description below, or you can use Studio Binder, which creates call sheets for you in seconds. Must-haves on your call sheet what time people have to be there, important people of contact, what is the weather gonna be like for the day, the address, information on parking, if there's a specific lot you need them to park with, ideally you attach a map. Where is the nearest hospital in case there's an accident? You need to know where that is. Make it as simple as possible, dummy proof it. After you have it all prepped, there's the option to send. The biggest problem with call sheets is making sure that not only people got them, but that they read them correctly and they confirmed that they're gonna show up. But with Studio Binder, you don't have to worry about that. It doesn't just send call sheets to emails, but it also sends it to text message to their phones. The first initial call sheet that you send out, you wanna send it out with at least 24 hours. It gives you time in case something does go wrong that you're able to fix it. So uh, our sound guy dropped out. Our sound guy has now dropped out because he's afraid that his gear will get wet. Not a great day to, sh to drop out, especially for something like sound, so we're gonna figure it out. It's devastating, but we have one day for finding new crew. Let's make it happen. Unfortunately, we got all the crew really difficult because rates are generally really low. No. Well, that's a surprise. Okay, all good. What, what's your so, you know, screws up your production. That's just the nature of it. I'm worried. We only have to so much time to then get the gear, to make the negotiations, to also crew up. This is one of those situations where you hope you got the right people on your crew, because if something does go wrong, it's my fault. I got some amazing news. I got here my camera package. I got a pretty sweet deal. It was a good day as we got some things done, like the camera and the insurance, just the gear. Normally, the Alexa Mira alone is $400 to rent. I got this with a director's monitor, a tripod on top of that, and I also got the Zeiss Compact Primes. Pretty amazing outcome for $400. I'm super stoked. Yeah, I'm calling regarding the, the proof of concept I was telling you about. I'm just wondering. And we found a sound person with enough time to prepare to be able to send out the new call sheets and everything and not be worried about it. And great news, he's not scared of the rain. <laughs> was a gift from God. He was awesome. We were also able to secure a production designer, and it's going to be her job to transform the space to make it look like a clinic. I'm worried a little bit about the exterior shoots when it's heavily raining and the wind is strong, but we will wrap this thing no matter what. So next time you see me, I'll be on set making our vision a reality along with our great team and all of our collaborators. Thank you so much for watching this and taking this journey with us. Stay tuned, check out the next episode. See you next time. Hey everyone, do you have a great idea for a film or a television show? Want someone to help you produce it? We're looking for writers and directors for season two. So if you have a script that you want to direct, click the link in the description and submit your project to Studio Binder today.
Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.